need to drain your gray tanks when you're out camping, maybe in BLM lands or in the desert, or maybe you're in Colorado and there's gray tank drain rules. Well, this is gonna solve it right now. So let's get started. So this is something I kind of invented up and it's basically, it's got a cheap pump on here, just a drill pump in case it doesn't work, but we're gonna test it right now. And this will hook to your gray tank outlet. And basically it'll, it'll help pump the pressure through the system. So first it'll pump it into a catch. And what this catch is for is to catch any bigger materials. So chances are in your gray tank, you won't have big materials in there, but you could have some little ones like from the sink or something, you know, so this is gonna catch any of those bigger materials, even hair from your body when you're washing off. This is what this is for to catch those. And it has a nice uh, quick way to open it so you can, you know, take the filter out and get rid of those easily. So that's the first stage of the entire cleaning process just to catch the big things. Then there is this one. This is a uh, paper filter that is not super fine, it's, but it's fine enough that it's gonna catch most of the, uh, you know, the things that this one lets go, but it's not going to completely refine it to, you know, water capable, you know, drinking water level. And then after this one catches that, which that's why it's bigger, because it needs to catch more, it will go down to this one. This one is a, water filter for basically you know rv water filter and this one the output should be pretty much as good as drinking water i mean of course we're not gonna be drinking it but it should be just as good as drinking water now i have a little gauge to tell me how much water is coming out of the system that way when i had this hooked up and i hit the drill i can see how much water is being pumped out of my gray tanks the reason why I think that's important is if you look at a lot of uh, cleaning filters for black tank and gray tanks, um, they have trouble with oil. So whenever you get oil going into the systems, they clog up really bad. And my theory is if you have, let's say, uh, 20 gallons of gray tank and you you know, it's, it's all pretty much shower, you know, almost all of it. Some of it's sink, um, but your gray tank's almost all shower. And you want to drain down to 25 gallons of it. You want to measure out 25 because you don't want to drain that last bit because the oil is going to sit on top of that wa water. It's going to sit on top. And if you drain it all, you're going to push all that oil into your filters and clog them up like that. So my thought is, if you have, you know, I'm sorry, I, I meant if you had 20 gallons of gray tank and you drain it down to 15 gallons out, that will keep the oil from hitting the system. So we're going to today take a couple showers and we're gonna run this thing through the test. And also I wanna show you what I did to the sink because you don't wanna put all your sink material, you know, down the gray tank. So I'm gonna show you what I did to the sink to kind of help make the system work. So what I did in the kitchen sink area is I installed this. This seats down into where your normal drain is and this screws onto that and this goes on here. And what that is, it's a catch basket to catch all the, you know, the chunks or something that's gonna go down your drain. It makes sure that you don't drop it down the drain. So this slides in there like that and the basket comes out so you can just you know throw this in the trash throw the junk in the trash and you can put this back in and it normally drains right through right through the basket and then if you want to stop it you do that and you know it works like a standard sink stopper and then you let it drain through and this will catch all those little tiny uh chunks from going in your gray tank um, I think it's nice all around, even if you don't do the water thing that I'm doing, but uh, I just think it's great. So let's take some showers and we will test out that gray tank. 
so we had two showers in the RV. Our gray tank is half full. Um, it says one third, but it's, it's half full because uh, the fresh tank is down to one third. So we're about halfway through. So let's go outside and run that pump and see how it does. Hopefully it works. So I have it hooked up. I just have it hooked up with the hose right now. I'm gonna try it without the pump first because I'm not sure if I'm gonna need the pump. But if it doesn't work, we'll hook the pump up. So let's open it. It's starting to fill up the first filter. Water's going to the second one. We really, since we have no pressure, we'll never have to worry about that gauge. And if we see water coming out there after a while, it'll work. Now, what I'm gonna do is just kind of let it run. And if water starts coming out, then it is working. Oh, look at this. Water is already coming out. So I don't need the pump. And you can see, crystal clear water. Let's see if I get it to the camera. Crystal clear water. I don't even think I need a pump for this. I think that it's gonna run the gray tank. I opened the gray tank valve. By the way, never open your black tank valve when you're doing this because you're really gonna ruin some stuff. So gray tank open. It's gonna run the gray tank water through the first filter. This is gonna catch the chunks, like the, anything that gets like hair and stuff that goes through. Then it's gonna run through this paper filter, which again, like I said, this paper filter is not uh, crystal clear water that you should just dump on the ground because it won't filter, you know, those uh, uh, like shampoos and things like that or chemicals. This one filters everything. And my thought on this is you can hook the thing up, go, uh, you know, go away all day or just hook it up at night, let it run at nighttime. And then in the morning, your gray tank will be almost empty. I don't think it'll empty the entire gray tank, but we'll see. And you'll be good. Now, you'll see here, I hooked this thing up with this out port, not at the bottom and not at the top. My thought on this is if I hook it on the bottom, then any big garbage that comes through from the sink or you know the, the big stuff, it's gonna catch it and put it in my filter and there's a chance of it you know, clogging it up. If I put it on the top, then oils that are coming through, I have a higher chance of the oils getting sucked in here. So my thought is if I put it in the middle, the oil stay here, the big chunks stay down here, and it'll suck out, you know, kind of the middle area. And then those once in a while when you uh, go to town to drain your gray tank, you know, or black tank, you can then go in there and do a complete gray tank clean out. So that's my thought process on that. This will uh, save you trips having to go to town to drain gray tanks or things like that. You'll still have to go to town to drain your black tank, but your gray tank, you won't have to. So I think this is a win. And as you can see still, it is draining away. Now it's not fast, but it's clean. So I think this will get you guys to be able to go BLM lands, you know, Colorado, anywhere where you are not allowed to drain a gray tank. You can show them this and say, it's not gray water coming out because it's illegal to drain gray water on a lot of those areas, but it's not illegal to drain fresh water. And that's what you are doing with this. So just tell them this is fresh water being drained out and it's legit. So that's it for this episode. And if you like what we're doing, again, please subscribe because you all make these kind of videos happen. All right, bye.